What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the new 7.0 Titan Weapon Crate. On the Nodens, four times this heavy Titan Viper with corrosion damage, if you will. We're doing 8.5 million damage with this setup in the first match that I'm gonna show you. Not this one, this is just the intro. In the next one, okay? So get ready for an insane match in the first round. And also, let's figure out if this weapon is overpowered or not, okay? Because I've seen people calling it overpowered. Is it? Is it really? Take a look at this, okay? Fully charged four crates at 360 meters range, deleting quite a bit of health on this enemy Nodens, but uh, where's the corrosion? Remember on the test server? Dude, this thing would be ticking to death in seconds now, but there is almost no corrosion damage anymore on the life server, so they almost took out everything that regarding corrosion of the setup. This guy's already running in with his reflector way too soon he acted by the reflector. I don't know why. And now we can delete him in a matter of seconds here in short range. Boom. Bye bye, dude. Um, but yeah, that was just the intro, as I said. This is the setup in question. Crate four times fully maxed. This is the damage. This is the description text and everything, right? And it says there's damage over time. And yeah, there is. But it's so small that you barely even notice it. And, um, and also, you've seen the ammo capacity when I was firing at the Nodens. I was firing for 7 seconds and then I was empty for 7 seconds reloading. So, it's really crazy how fast you empty the whole clip on these weapons. Um, and how basically little damage you really do in the process. Regardless, we're gonna do seven or no 8.5 million damage in this round. In this one right here. And that's why I'm showing you the whole match. Because I want to also show you how the damage calculates together, okay? And not all of the damage is with the Nodens. Sorry, with, yeah, with the Nodens. Not all of that, but uh, a lot of it, okay? So let me just show you the way to getting the Nodens here. Uh, and uh, and then using those four crates to do as the highest damage I've anyone d seen do, do with these with these new weapons in this uh, since the 7.0 release. I think this is going to be an insanely good match. Uh, let's jump in. Uh, let's hit that guy here. Shell robots really hate it when you get them like this. Look. He just lost all his shields right there. All of those shields are gone in, in a matter of seconds here because I hit him so hard with those uh, new rocket launchers. Uh, the new bombing run things. There's a scorpion coming in for us as well. See him coming up there? Uh, I'm jumping away because I knew to notice the other scorpion also coming my way. Bam bam, getting this guy here. That's good. And then jumping away. Thankfully, the scorpion seemed to have jumped somewhere else. Woo! Alright, so... We're gonna get uh, that Nodens filled up really quickly. You see, with 80% 80, 80 already, the shell gets deleted. Here we go. A 90% Titan bar. Let's see what we're gonna do and when we're gonna get this thing. All right, this guy. Uh, can I hit him? Nah, yeah, nah. I don't know. Something in between, between yeah and nah. Uh, so here, activating the uh, bump meter on him. Bup, getting him down to last stand with that. All right, uh, Titan meter almost finished. Let's go in. Jump. Uh oh, oh, we have a scorpion behind us. Damn it! I would have gotten the freaking Titan meter filled up all the way with this one robot. Now I got killed by a scorpion and I can't. I have to jump in with something else real quick. So, alright. So far, I would say we've done about a million damage with a shell, uh, with the hawk. Maybe a million or so. Now we're adding another 120,000 against the uh, Ares. Okay. Let me just try calculating this so we can get to a number in the end. Um, as to what we have done with the entire Nodens crate. And again, the point of this video is to also figure out uh, how much damage... Uh, no, uh, if, the, if the Nodens is actually overpowered. Another 120,000 health here, not really much more because this is just a Cerberus. So, um, and that's it. We're jumping into the, into the Titan. Uh, so we've done... How much have we done? Maybe 1.5 million damage with non-Titan weapons. That means 7 million damage are gonna be done with this one setup now. 7 million damage. Are you ready for this, guys? We have a million HP on the Nodens. Uh, and look how long, long it takes me to get this freaking guy there aimed at. Ah, oh, and I'm already reloading. You need to pay attention to how fast you deplete the ammo capacity on this. It's so insane. You do a really good amount of damage, uh, focused, fired on, on some targets. Uh, but at the same time, it just goes so quickly that you deplete. Look, I can't even kill one freaking Fenrir down after his last stand. Um, I couldn't even take him down. I just don't have the ammo capacity for it. 
and I have already, in case you're wondering, I'm healing the, uh, the Ao Ming up to the left. Um, in case you're wondering, I have already sent the feedback to Pixonic that they have to look at this weapon. Uh, because A, there is next to zero corrosion on it. Like, there's almost no corrosion. Remember on the test server, you would hit a Titan for a few seconds and then it would tick down. Bop, 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 bop. The corrosion was insane. All right, and what I think happened here on the life server is that they, it may have the same corrosion damage, but you can only add a certain number of corrosion effects, maybe 15 or 20, and then it's capped, and you cannot add any more corrosion to it, and that was not on the test server. Look how much damage we're doing to this uh, Nightingale up there with a the quantum sensor, pretty good, firing at, the no uh, at this kit, and then immediately I'm empty again. I can never really unfold damage output. Compare this to the Cyclone and Cataclysm. How much and how long you would be firing, how long you would be dealing damage with Cyclone and Cataclysm to the enemy, right? Here, I'm empty again. I can't believe it, but I'm already empty again. This is just insane. Like, you're, you're reloading as much as you're firing, really. Uh, and that just is crazy. He's got his extra weapons out. My suppression is wearing off now. Uh, so I'm going for him over and over to the face. He's doing a lot of damage to me, too, but we're getting him first Nice Whoo reload time again. Yeah, and the Nodens is healing me up. I'm healing the Nodens up. That's good Thankfully, I have that Nodens with me. Otherwise, that would be a pain in the butt All right getting in range here. There's a Nightingale again trying to get the aim aim that but before I circle through the aiming things I already depleted all my ammo reloading is in order healing up the the thing in front of us here Starting to fire at the Nightingale and this guy as well in the distance. He's locked. He's locked. That is taking. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage from this. Oh, man. He is taking so much damage from this. Jeez. That was a really good moment to be firing at the Nodens right there. That lockdown they did with him was the perfect time. But it takes so long just to get the right guy targeted every time, man. The music is going pretty nuts. Yeah, let's go for it. We already did quite a few millions of damage here. This guy was locked, but before I really get to fire at him, he's free. Alright, going for him there. Yeah, it's really hard to deal some damage there, man. The guy to my left needs to lock someone so I can hit him hard. Let's go for this guy. Oh, I'm suppressed. I think I would be suppressing them too, but I wasn't ready with my suppression. Here, maximum damage at the enemy Nodens. Suppressing them over there. Nice. And then getting myself back in cover because I am suffering a lot of damage. And I'm suppressed too. <laughs> Alright, Nodens, where are you? I need your healing. Oh, he's all the way over in the distance to the left. See this? Oh, yeah, he's taking some good damage there. And the music. You're here, you're here coming, right? You're here coming, the music. It wants to come. It wants to. So let's let it. Yeah. Bye-bye, dude. The Minos Titan. No, the Nodens, I mean. Uh-oh, we have an Arthur coming up. Suppressing the Arthur, dealing damage to him. He's closing the shields now. Uh, unfortunately, I am in a problem spot now. And uh, I think this is as long as I get to live now. Can I take this guy with me? No. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was the Minos so far. Actually, wait a minute. I, maybe I'm doing some more damage now. The Nodens it was, of course. I keep saying the wrong name. Um... I'm doing some extra damage here to this Arthur. Maybe another two, three hundred thousand. Activating the shield, killing the Arthur. The Arthur is dead, by the way. Uh, and now I jumped onto the, uh, onto the, um, the Ao Ming we had on the base here on the on the beacon. So we've de destroyed the Arthur. We've killed, uh, healed up the Ao Ming, and now we're cleaning up a few leftovers here, left and right. Uh, dealing some good damage there for a bit. Maybe we're gonna do another like 200, 300,000 before the match ends. So that that means we didn't actually do 7 million with the Nodens. We did maybe 6 million or so. But it's still a lot of damage, man. Seriously. 
I just wish that um, I had been able to, uh, to you know, fire at more Nodens while they were being suppressed. The match is gonna end in, in a second now. It was a very awesome match, by the way. This was a really good one here. Um, a match where you really have a ton of fun playing till the very end. It was it was nice and it was interesting. So let's take a look at the stats, okay? Here we go. Uh, damage is counting up. 8.5 million damage, uh, and I would say 6 million was at least with the Nodens. And the other two and a half was maybe with the robots. Maybe not even that. Maybe it was more with the Nodens. I can't say for sure. So jumping into the next situation, as usual, ladies and gentlemen, you get the full gameplay cut together here. And if you like that, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And hit that notification bell. Quantum Sensor for the win here against uh, the Ao Chun coming in, right? He would have otherwise had, no had his last stand still, but I deleted him. I'm expecting the enemy to drop in more Titans, that's why I'm not going in face brawl. Uh, and see, there it already is. And now, let's let this is where I show you the weakness of this great weapon. Take a look at how little effort or little things I am able to do. If this was Cyclone, I would delete everything in front of me. But it's not Cyclone and I have to reload every few seconds. Take a look at this. Um, I'm firing at someone else now. I notice I'm being hit and focused a lot by many things. I have an Auchun on me, I have the Arthur on me, that is a bit of a problem. Thankfully I have a million HP, but uh, still, really really bad to get focused like this. Let's take out this guy first. The damage output is pretty okay. Um, and then we're going for the Arthur, and guess what? I have to reload again! I took down one Auchun with the help of someone else, and then I fired at this Arthur for three seconds. And I have to reload. So, reload is finally finished, right? I can start firing, uh, going for the Arthur here, going back to him, and guess what happens next? I have to reload. I still e haven't even killed one guy on the beacon there. I haven't even killed the freaking Fenrir. I can't, I just don't have the firepower for it. The weapon is not good. Sorry, I have to say it. In my opinion, this weapon is not very good, and it's because of the reload. And I, don't get me wrong, I think that the weapon will get fixed. I think this is uh, something that somehow sneaked into the game. They were, they, that the, the, the corrosion is works completely different than it did on the test server. On the test server, this weapon was way overpowered. It was way too good. And here, it's way too weak in my opinion. And again, I've seen uh, videos on YouTube, I've seen other people call them overpowered. And sorry, I cannot go along with this. I, I just don't think this is overpowered at all. I think it's the exact opposite. It's actually pretty bad. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to give you guys an impression here. Keep in mind, yeah, it does do rather well, but it's a, it's a Titan with four fully maxed Titan weapons. Of course it does a lot of damage, right? It would, like, you can't expect this to not deal damage. But um, considering those are level fully maxed Titan weapons, the, you know, it's really rather little that we're doing. Oh, by the way, we have to reload again. Yay! Let's have some reloading, why not? And once we're reloading finished, we can finally start doing some damage. But guess what? This guy's already down to last end. And uh, half, the, uh, half the ammo is already gone. I fired for three seconds at a last standing um, Fenrir. Ammo is half depleted. Seriously, you just can't deal damage with this weapon. You just can't. You just never have the time for it. I suppressed the enemy uh, Minos there. Now we can start to feel damage. And now I can fire at this Mi uh, Ao Ming for like one second. And then it's reloading time. You're not reloading for a very long time, like seven seconds is not that long. But now, now I'm fully charged. I can start dealing some damage here. And you see the damage output is pretty okay. It's pretty good when you are in fact firing at someone. It's just pretty bad when you constantly take the reload into account. There's a uh, Minos Titan there. Uh, no, Anodens over in the distance. I don't know why I confused the names. Come on, start firing. There we go. All right, um, the Ao Ming is coming back up. Deleting him real quick. Firing at him also and reload. I would be having so much fun with this me uh, Ao Ming right there, but reload. Barely started firing. Reload. I'm getting hit from behind by an Ao Ming. Uh, no, by an Ao Chun. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. I just can't get those Aos, those Mings and Chuns. It's, I just keep keep confusing those. Uh, but yeah, so um, that's uh, this one. Let's show you one more match 
5.6 million damage, not bad here. Let's go on to Canyon. Um, and we're jumping into a battle here with the uh, Minos. Nope, with the... Uh, this is the next thing. Minos and our uh, Nodens and our Ming and our Chon. Those, th those two. I just can't get it right. Something, something is wrong in my brain. Some connections are not correct. Um, I have to, uh, to correct those. Uh, but it, and it, it will take a lot of effort to make some wrong connections right again. So, suppressing these guys down below and doing some nice damage to the Arthur. Of course, he's doing nice damage to me back, but I was able to get him. Getting a lot of hard aggro face focus from, uh, from Frenchman uh, right here. Uh, but it, it, I am the right target. He's not doing it wrong. The, um, the Nodens has to be taken down first because it is the most dangerous target among the Titans because it keeps the other Titans in the game. So it's definitely the right choice for him to take me on. Me or the other Minos and, and, and Nodens in this case. And uh, yeah, we're, we're following in. Reloading. Yep, we are fully reloaded now. Can I get this guy at least? Yep. Firing at the Nightingale. Lots of damage. Down to last stand immediately. This is why I like to have the Quantum Sensor, man. It is just so useful. And then suppressing the entire enemy team here. Take a look at this. Actually, wait. I didn't do it. Why did I not do it? I did it now. Too late. Uh, I could have done this way earlier. Alright, so last situation here on the new map. He's recognizing me. I'm doing some duel with uh, with the uh, Ao Ming next to us. Um, I was getting hit by the Hawk Laser. But uh, I'm unlocked again. Can move. So let's go for it. Let's go. Here, yep, Nightingale coming in. He's trying to start to fly. But guess what, buddy? I have that sweet uh, Quantum Sensor. And I'm not the only one. Uh, Weedim also has the quantum sensor, man. You know how it uh, how it works, huh? He's got the quantum sensor as well. That's really awesome. Now we're both taking down the Arthur shield. We're working simultaneously on that shield, trying to get it fixed and destroyed. But of course, the problem is that you know uh, I uh, have to reload. So uh, the only one who gets to do damage is Weedim here with his, because I dropped the shield and he can now deal damage, which is good. I don't care who does the damage. Main thing is somebody does it, and that thing gets destroyed. That was really nice for Ed, uh, that he, he could kill that entire Arthur here and not have to worry about the shield anymore. We have another out, uh, out Chun here. I can take it down real quick. And then another Arthur spawns right in front of me. Of course, what else is new? Let's go around the corner. And in the meantime, I have to reload again. Uh, and uh, Weedim is gonna have some fun in the meantime with that Arthur. He's, he gets to kill all the Arthurs. I'm the one having to always reload. Every time I have to reel it when I want to deal damage. Every freaking time. This is so outrageous. This weapon setup is so annoying. It is really, it is so annoying. I, I just can't stress enough how annoying it is to play this weapon. Because you're literally spending all the time you could potentially be doing damage. You spend the time reloading. It's, it, it is especially clear if you take into account f playing with someone else. Who, uh, who gets to fire much more than you do. And he gets to do all the damage, and you get to reload all the time, right? It is so insane. Here, boom. Fired for one second, half the ammo is depleted. <sighs> so sick. Uh, boop. More than half going for the Ao Chun, uh, Ao Ming there, just for two seconds. And reload. Yo, seriously, I should have been able to take him down now, but I can't, because I have to reload, as usual. Da -da 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 -da. So that was half the firepower. Da -da 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 half empty. Yeah, sorry. I have to say it how it is. This weapon is absolute garbage the way it is right now. And uh, I stand by it. It deals de decent damage at long range. At 500 meters, the range is pretty okay. Uh, but, man, you fired empty so fast. And it spe you spend all the time reloading in the meantime. So, is it overpowered? In my opinion, definitely not. It's the exact opposite. It needs to be fixed. The corrosion aspect is way too low, the reload is um, way too often, so not enough ammo in the drum. And I've already sent that feedback to Pixonic, um, so this is my opinion, nothing like overpowered. But still, we had a really good match with it, 8.5 million damage. Hopefully you had some fun watching, ladies and gents. Have a good one, see you in the next one. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.